and at the same time here this duration calculates only the working days it never going to calculate the non working days now in microsoft office project we will see how to calculate total duration which also include weekends normally the duration which is never going to include weekend for example now i am just going to put the task a and then the duration 10 and you can able to see the task bar and i'm just going to make this to auto schedule and uh, see here like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so total 12 day but here it's showing only 10 days so how to show the total 12 days which also include weekends we will see now how to do it so for that we need to go for custom field so so click some column like this and then go for right click and here you have custom fields so select the custom field and here we have many things and here we need to go for number and in this number we can able to just rename so total duration and click ok or we can uh, rename to duration includes weekends now we can just go for formula and here there is something called date difference formula so you can just go here function and go to data time and here you have a date difference so date difference is something which will also include the weekends so the formula is this date difference and then uh, you can just take note of it and then when you click ok and then click ok and now i am just going to insert the column now can you able to see which also include the weekends so what is the formula right click custom field and here you can click the formula and this is the formula you need to note it so here we have a d and then start finish and plus one this is important so when you give this formula you can also able to see the total duration which includes weekends now i will try to put another uh, activity which i will put five so this is coming error why because this is manually scheduled when you put auto schedule then we can able to see the duration see five and then five here also but if you change this to 20 then you can able to see 26 it is coming again i will do some other so 30 i will put when you make to auto schedule we can able to see the duration which includes weekends also so like this we can able to customize fields in ms office project and this is very user friendly custom fields since we have this formula in a number we can able to see only 12 so we can't able to see 12 days because we just put the custom fields for number so it will show only the number which means 12 days 26 days 40 days like that so in that case what we can do means we can just go here and we can able to rename it so in braces we will put days it will be in days okay so we can able to see how it is getting updated now we will see like what is that like in formula we can just go here and date or time this is like date difference and then interval interval that's why we put a d which means like for days so interval and then date one which means like start and date two which means like finish date and we can go for optional these are all the optional things first day of week first week of year so these two i skipped and later based on the solution i am not satisfied and later i try to put plus one then we are getting the exact result so in future if you want anything like this you can able to make use of this formula so this plus one i just tried myself and it is working well so that's why i'm sharing this to you people so you can make use of it So in this we will try to put a uh, link and we will see the summary also. Now we will see the summary, project summary task. So like this and after uh, putting links how it will be we will see. So like this total duration 60 days but here it's showing zero. So in that case what we can able to do right click custom fields again and here calculation for task and group summary task. You need to go for roll up and we need to go for sum. When you do like this and click ok you can able to see the total duration so here we can able to see something uh, we have mistake because i just checked with the same dates here it is showing 85 day but we got only 81 there is something wrong here so what we can able to do in the sense like right click 
custom fields and here I'm just going to make use of formula. When you use the formula, we are getting the exact uh, difference. So I will uh, try to put some lags also. Now, now we can able to see like exactly we are getting. Some other lags we will put in. See, we are getting exactly 99. So we can able to check uh, based on the start and finish date in some website like that.